Hi students, today we are going to prove loss of refraction using Fermat's principle. Now let S be a plane separating two media having refractive index mu1 and mu2. So this is the plane S which separates two media having yes this is the plane s it separates two media above this plane s refractive index is mu1 and below it refractive index is mu2 now let a be a point from which light is coming out and from a the light reaches the point c now what is the light a path followed by light when it moves from a to c let us assume that light moves along the path a k c light is moving along the path a k c we know that actually light should follow the path a b c so that a b the refracted ray b c and the incident ray uh, and the normal must lie in the same plane but we are imagining a point k in front of B so that A K B is the line a path followed by the light ray in going from A to B. Here again as you can see from the figure O A is equal to small a then Q C is equal to minus B since it is a distance taken in the uh, negative direction. QC is equal to minus B and BQ or OQ is equal to here O is the origin so OQ is equal to C. Now let my point X K have the coordinates just like P in the case for reflection let K have the coordinates X 0 and Z. That is K is an imaginary point at some imaginary distance X from the origin and it has Y is along this direction Y coordinate. It has no Y coordinate because it is lying in the X is Z plane and this is the Z axis. So K is lying at some distance Z along the Z axis, some distance X along the X axis and it has no Y coordinate. So x, z are all variables. We are considering some imaginary point in front of B. K is some imaginary point in front of B. Again, here what should you do? We consider the length A, K, C. Okay, let L is equal to A, K, C or A, K plus K, C. Now, if using distance formula, I find out what is AK. Using distance formula, I find out what is KC. Then, I am going to minimize L with respect to the two variables X and Z. That is, I find out dou L by dou Z equal to 0 and dou L by dou X is equal to 0. Okay. So, first what I do is I find out what is L. L is equal to here. A, K and K, C lie in two different medium. One having refractive index mu1 and the second one having refractive index mu2. So, my A, K, C is equal to the optical path mu1 A, K plus mu2 K, C. Okay. The total distance is equal to refractive index into the distance travelled. So like that I calculate my L to be mu1 into root of x square plus a square plus z square plus mu2 into root of x minus c the whole square plus b square plus z square. Now we minimize L with respect to x and z. First I minimize L with respect to z just as I did the loss of reflection. Dou L by dou z I get when I differentiate it I get an equation like this and I take z out and so many terms inside the bracket. So, z into the terms inside the bracket will give you 0. So, the terms inside the bracket involves mu1, mu2, a, c, b, etc. which are all non-zero numbers. So, the terms inside the bracket can never be 0. So, who must be 0? z must be equal to 0. 
what do you mean when you say z is equal to 0 when z is equal to 0 means from the figure this is the z distance this distance along the z axis now if z is equal to 0 means k moves backward and coincides with b falls on b that means a a b the incident ray b c the reflected ray and this normal lie in the same plane so the first law of refraction is proved now to find out the second equation second law what we do is we write down we know z is now equal to 0 so l is equal to mu 1 root of x square plus a square plus mu 2 root of x minus b the x minus c the whole square plus b square that is i wrote down the length a k c without uh, z because z is equal to 0 and i differentiated that length with respect to x so i got something plus something is equal to 0 and I write it as mu1 into x by root of x square plus a square is equal to mu2 into c minus x by root of x minus c the whole square plus b square. Now if you look in the figure you will get x by x minus a by root of x square plus a square is sin i and c minus x by root of x minus c the whole square plus b square is equal to sin r or I get my equation as mu1 sin i equal to mu2 sin r or sin i by sin r is equal to mu2 by mu1 so second law is also proved this is called this law is also called Snell's law of refraction it's already known to you sin i by sin r equal to mu2 by mu1 which is Snell's law I expect this class is clear to all of you so if you have any doubts, please do contact. Thank you.